Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to the latest video briefing. We have quite a bit to talk about for the holiday weather and potential impacts. We're going to call this high impact to travel across Southern California. Looks like two significant chances of precipitation between December 23rd and the 25th Christmas Day. This is Alex Hardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. That means snow in the highest elevations and that means rain everywhere else. We had significant weather last week. Here's a look at the precipitation that occurred across California. In Southern California, it was widespread three to five inches of rain. And we had rainfall of one to two inches, even for coastal cities and all the urban areas. The weather system parked offshore midweek is going to look like this. It'll start to tap into tropical moisture to the south before it swings through Thursday night. Okay, here's what it looks like for Christmas Eve. We'll call it Thursday and Friday. Storm system that's parked in the East Pacific off the West Coast starts to swing inland. It taps into atmospheric river moisture on Thursday. Then it appears to exit on Friday with another system coming down from the north. On Thursday and Friday, we have the potential for two surges of atmospheric river moisture. First, as mentioned, it comes in Thursday and rapidly moves across the region on the 23rd. It'll exit here early Friday morning. However, another atmospheric river about 24 to 36 hours later is expected to come up from the same direction and be over us early on Christmas Day, Friday night. For the first system, for Thursday, Thursday night, early Friday, we expect widespread precipitation, basically one to two inches in the mountains and a half inch to an inch along the coastal areas that includes all the urban areas for coastal cities and valleys and spill over up to half inch in the deserts. We do expect snow with storm number two Thursday into Thursday night and Friday morning, but primarily above 7,000 feet. This does have some impact across the region over the highest elevations above 6,500 feet. Those areas, we expect a few inches of snow to occur largely over the ski resort level, but some of the mountain passes will have light accumulation of an inch or two. So please keep in mind, check the latest war forecast and carry chains. It'll be chilly on Christmas Eve. High temperatures only expected to top out near 40 in the mountain communities and in the upper 50s for most of the coastal cities. The winds aren't expected to be particularly strong, but we do look for gusty winds in the mountain passes and desert slopes as shaded in yellow. Elsewhere, wind speeds topping out between 20 and 30 miles per hour. Now going into the holiday weekend, considerable uncertainty Friday night into Saturday, different range in weather forecast potential. This round two, call it, Friday night into Saturday could be significant. Here's what the weather pattern looks like for Christmas Day. Additional cold air or storm system and energy from the north approaches on Christmas Day, tapping into another atmospheric river, potentially. Now, even when that swings through on Saturday and Saturday night, it remains unsettled with this cool northwest flow across all of California for additional showers continuing into Sunday, perhaps even into Monday. Now for round two, this is what it's looking like, an additional inch or more for the mountains and for the coastal areas, an additional half inch to an inch. The second storm over the weekend for Christmas into Sunday is going to be a little bit colder. So that means more snow accumulation now down into the mountain communities with a few inches of new snow. Remember, carry chains, check quick map before you leave. Temperatures Christmas morning are going to start off pretty cold as well. 
Look for temperatures in the 20s in some of the mountain communities and widespread 40s elsewhere. High temperatures Christmas Day, not very high. 30s in the mountains, 40s and 50s elsewhere. You're going to have to go to the deserts before you get into some milder 60s. Total precipitation during the period Christmas Eve all the way through the 26th or the day after Christmas looks like this. We do expect widespread 2 to 4 inches in the mountains. And in coastal areas, purple shaded there, 1 to 2 inches. Some of the highlights for the weekend is the wind over our mountain areas and mountain passes. That will affect some travel, especially on Thursday and again Saturday. The precipitation, two main periods. We do expect precipitation starting early Thursday. There could be a break, it looks like, on Friday and more precipitation for the weekend, especially Saturday, Christmas Day. Rainfall of one to two inches will be widespread with locally four in the slopes. Now we do expect some snowfall, initially high snow levels, but the snow level will come down as we go into the weekend. So mountain communities seeing some fresh snow. If they don't see that snow by Friday morning, certainly by Sunday morning. So keep that in mind, carry chains if going to the mountains, snow levels will be changing but gradually coming down through the weekend. Coastal areas widespread one to two inches of rain. Could be a little bit too much at once with some urban flooding and small stream flooding. If the National Weather Service issues any watches, warnings or advisories, they will be posted at weather.gov, so make sure you check for the latest information. Here are the highlights. Main precipitation, Thursday night and early Friday, System 1. Second storm looks on track for the weekend, Friday night through Saturday night. Keep in mind, two potential weather systems. Lingering showers could continue on Sunday and even on Monday as a cool weather pattern persists.